What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Star Wars Law Outlaws. Outlaws. I am very looking forward for this. This is one of these games that I am so excited about this year. Um, as a person who is a Star Wars kind of a nerd, kind of a fan, I mean, I, I'm, I'm technically am. Uh, uh, Star Wars has been my through my childhood, and this. When they first announced this, I was like, oh my god, Ubisoft is making their official first Star Wars game. Uh, because Star Wars games were from a different company instead of Ubisoft. This is Ubisoft's first Star Wars game. As the company I enjoyed, um, it's been a while that I've not played any recent Ubisoft games. Uh, unfortunately, I lost my subscription of uh, Ubisoft+. Plus. Uh, but regardless, uh, we eventually getting it back eventually but uh like i said a lot of uh stuff has been happening um i this is gonna as i heard from multiple through multiple of my friends this game is gonna be like an open world kind of you play as an outlaw and um yeah so we're gonna react to the storyline trailer i know it's been a while not done reaction videos uh half of the reaction videos you've seen probably that was through my twitch which obviously the username up top and all that stuff. Um, I'm still getting used to recording off of OBS because I'm not. That's the only way I can do um, green screen with OBS and all that stuff. Regardless, um, my setup will be changing eventually when I move, which that would be after the cruise, um, around after the cruise. However, um, but I am so really looking forward for this. This is uh, one of these games I cannot wait, honestly. But anyways, let's. Uh, get started into the reaction of Star Wars Outlaws uh, storyline trailer. I thought they would wait until Ubisoft uh, forward event, but uh, here we go. Okay, so I just got done editing and realizing I did the <laughs> I did the uh, not the official trailer. I did the breakdown trailer um, where they were explaining about this trailer. This is the official trailer quotation marks trailer because I'm a complete idiot um, because I just literally was I was trying to like. Oh, this is not exactly the trailer of uh, this uh, game. This is the trailer. So I was like looking on um, on Twitter and I was like, well then. Uh, so in this Pacific, I did the other part. Now I'm doing the actual trailer. Uh, so I do apologize on that in advance. Uh, so if you're wondering about um, how I was reacting to this uh <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, this is the actual official trailer, not the other one. Regardless, I'll be posting both trailers, so not to get anyone confusing about. Um, I probably won't break it down, though, because I kind of break it down in the last one. Regardless, I hope you enjoy, and uh, let's uh, get this actual reaction trailer going. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Pikes. Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. Kay Vess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. Damn. We need it last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. Ooh. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now Thanks. he wants you gone. Rob his fortune, buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. I'm in. Pretty. Out here, you live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? 
know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Wow. Jabba, right? Jabba! Don't try anything? I got a whole crew surrounding the... Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to I to survive. I did a little bit of the gameplay, though. This job finisher. is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. Okay. Yes. Hang on. I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. Oh, she's more connected than you let on, Slero. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. Outlaws pre-order available now. Huh. Well, do I feel <laughs> uh I feel less stupid now. <laughs> Why did I say that? Um Yeah? Yeah? Uh yeah, I I, <laughs> I feel less stupid. Wow, I can't believe I actually said that. Um, yeah, because they were going they were going through the uh, talking through the people while they were pausing and telling who's who and all that stuff. Uh, by the way, you'll see that video in like any after this video actually because uh, technically that was the first video because I thought that was the trailer. Um, so, my bad. My mistake there. I'm sorry. My mistake. Um, which I'll be sure to add it in the, in the end, for sure. Um, yes, I'm so excited for this game. I hope you guys are excited for about this game as well. Um, it's going to be very interesting. Um, yeah, I'm so looking forward for it. I actually had a little tear. I don't know why I had a, like, a little tear, and I was like, wow, it looks so beautiful. Um... Now, funny thing is, when they first announced, and this was on the, I'm going to say this, this was on my Twitch, I think it was Game Awards, I kid you not, when they, when Ubisoft showed off Avatar, everybody, and I mean including everybody, thought it was Star Wars in my chat, they thought it was Star Wars. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Star Wars, Ubisoft making their Star Wars game, um, I think it's semi-open world. I don't know. I, I think it's open world. I, I don't know. Um, but it looks so good. I, I cannot wait. I love either playing as a Jedi, playing as a bounty hunter, playing as a, like, a Sith, or, like, um, an outlaw. An outlaw is, like, my go-to kind of thing because I like Western stuff, and, like, being an outlaw would be pretty awesome. Um, they did... I think someone mentioned that a long time ago a Star Wars game was gonna be like a Mandalorian kind of game where you'd be as the bounty hunter and uh, when they first announced this game I was like oh my god I was so excited uh the little creature with Kay oh my god I'm so looking forward for it I love that little companion I, I can't get can't wait I'm probably gonna play this day one no doubt about it I'll be probably stream this like a midnight release, hopefully. Um, but I was just so excited about it. But, uh, yeah. So, like I said, the worlds look so beautiful. I don't have to break it down because I did on the last time going to visit. Tatooine will probably be my go-to visit place. Uh, Star Wars Survivor is really good, too. I enjoyed the gameplay. I enjoyed it. Um, my reaction was, like, pretty interesting in that, if you want to check it out. Um... I'm sure we're going to get a lot more. Uh, Ubisoft Forward is coming, I think, this summer. I think it is. Uh, Summerfest Games is coming, though. However, E3 is canceled, um, which we all love. E3 canceled because, you know, that's not good. But uh, regardless, uh, stay tuned for those uh, coming up. 
Um, some events are not really coming up this year, unfortunately. Like I said, E3, it's kind of disappointing that it got canceled. Um, Game Awards is very, very important, uh, especially at the end of the year, especially announcing what would be the game of the year. Um, I'm not disappointed that Baldur's Gate 3 won for that. I feel like Spider-Man should have won some awards, at least. Um, Spider-Man 2, at least. I mean, there was, like, a lot of stuff that happened. But regardless, I hope you do enjoy... Uh, enjoy my first reaction, uh, which I thought, again, I thought that was the trailer, but that was more of the breaking down, so I hope you enjoy that, and, uh, enjoy it. Hello, and welcome to the Star Wars Outlaws Story Trailer Developer Breakdown. Today, I'm going to give you more information about what you saw in the new story trailer, including details about new characters and criminal Ooh. syndicates. Here we go. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Slero is one of the galaxy's elite, living what? in Canto Bight and leading his okay. own burgeoning and highly lethal criminal syndicate, Zarek Besh. Slero organized this gathering of syndicates as a demonstration of that power and to show that his organization, Zarek Besh, should not be crossed. It's a golden age for the underworld. In the golden age of crime syndicates, the syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws are spread across the Outer Rim, and their impact can be felt everywhere. We have previously shared that the Pike Syndicate, the Hutt Cartel, and the Ashiga Clan, which is a new syndicate created in close collaboration between Massive Entertainment and Lucasfilm Games, are in the game. Today, okay. we got to reveal that the elegant and sophisticated, yet highly dangerous syndicate, Crimson Dawn, will also be a key player in the underworld of Star Wars Outlaws. Kay Vess. Across the Outer Rim, Kay will build her reputation and form tense and ever-changing alliances with each of these syndicates. Oh, Jabba the Hutt. will offer varying <laughs> gameplay and narrative opportunities depending on your actions. Oh, it looks so good. Whether providing you access to some of the most lucrative jobs in the galaxy, oh, shit. or hunting you down if you've double-crossed them. What do you want? Zarek Besh. You crossed their boss, Slero, and now he wants you gone. Jalen is somewhat of a mentor for Kay. He's okay. a fellow scoundrel that has a lot of experience in the underworld, and he sees potential in her. Rob his fortune, buy your freedom. Jalen offers Kay her one shot at ultimate freedom to pull off Just one of the greatest heists the galaxy has ever seen. As a member of the galaxy's elite, Slero's mansion is heavily fortified by multiple levels of security and his own personal syndicate, Zarek Besh. After a failed job, Slero doesn't take kindly to Kay, placing a bounty on her head and sending Ouch. one of the galaxy's best bounty hunters, Vale, to hunt her down. This job, it's a death wish. Oh, that's a classic. The legendary Hut Cartel represent one of the Jabba criminal the syndicates that Kay will encounter during her journey across the Outer Rim. Kay and Nyx will come face to face with their oh, leader the Jabba Hutt in cartel. his iconic cartel. throne room okay. on Tatooine. But the hut presence will Tatooine. be built across other locations and planets too, where you will meet some new faces of the hut cartel. So you'll need to be careful as your reputation what if there's will be, like, follow. Gonna be like multiple Easter eggs though. You die by you your go reputation. to uh, Tatooine. These syndicates have real power in the underworld in each of the locations Kay and Nyx will visit on their journey. Their impact and influence will be felt wherever you go. From the vendors you interact with, oh, wow. the jobs you take on, the support you receive, and even the access you have to certain territories. Aww. This job is my one shot yes. at freedom. But Attempting to rob awesome. Slero's mansion alone would be impossible. Even if Kay and Nyx got in, they wouldn't be getting out. <laughs> in order to pull off the job, Kay and Nyx will need to travel across the Nyx Outer Rim so to cute. find skilled outlaws and convince them to join her in pulling off the greatest heist the galaxy has ever seen. There's a lot of fun and exciting characters that you'll meet on your journey, some of whom you see here. Hang on. I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. Raised in the underworld, Vale has had a toe in every syndicate and has learned from each of them. Because of her experience, Vale is a formidable adversary for Kay. She can oh. fight, pilot, hunt, smuggle, anything she needs to do in order to pull off a job and claim her bounty. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. Kay grew up alone, fighting for scraps in the workers' district of Canto Bight, relying on her skills as a thief and Nyx to pull off small cons to get by. Kay has always felt that the galaxy is rigged against people like her, 
and has always dreamt of a life beyond Kanto, where she does not answer to anyone. This job is her opportunity to make her dream a reality and to finally be truly free. Star Wars Outlaws pre-order available now. August 30th. Yes, August 30th. Yes. Oh, so it's not that far away. I thought I, I I always thought it would be like July or like June for it to come out. Um I knew it was like coming out I don't know if holiday. Like usually sometimes like Ubisoft games come out on a holiday, like Assassin's Creed like Valhalla, for example, or some other like ones. I'm very looking forward for this. Uh, there's a lot to learn about uh, these characters, um, especially seeing Jabba the Hutt and, you know, uh, this character is going to be very, very interesting through the whole playthrough, I guess you could say. Um, my last Star Wars game I played was Star Wars Jedi Survivor. That game, oh my god. Amazing. Um, really hope we get a DLC for that game eventually. I doubt it, but, um, regardless, um, I heard they're working on the third one of that game. Um, but yeah, like I said, but this guy, the guy that is on the throne, this guy, he's given me, he looks like one of those, like, medieval guys, um, I don't know if anyone has seen, like, uh, what is it, like, Game of Thrones kind of thing. He gives me, like, Game of Thrones vibes. Like, the way he's sitting on his throne, he's, like, the big boss in here. Obviously, he has a bounty on the the um, protagonist that we're playing as. Um, but he, he just gives me those, you know, medieval king vibes. Um, but he's gonna be... He looks like he might be the main villain off of this whole series in general. He probably is going to be the main villain. I'm just guessing. I'm not saying if it's true, not true, whatever. Um, but it's going to be interesting. Uh, her character, I'm definitely really looking forward to playing as her. She looks like she does not mess around like uh, Cal Kestis doesn't mess around either. Um, good to see Jabba the Hutt back. We love to see him. Uh, good old visit Tatooine, because that's probably one of my favorite planets off of um, Star Wars in general. Like, my favorite planets. Um, the, Phant the Phantom Menace, I think that one is my favorite Star Wars film, I would have to guess, because uh, that's the only Star Wars film I actually have on VHS tape. Um... If I could see it somewhere. Oh, I do have it. I don't know if it'll show, but I do have the Star Wars the first Phantom Menace on a good old uh, VHS tape. If anyone has not grown up on VHS tapes or any younglings that don't know what VHS tapes are, um, people still collect these these now on. This is actually the first official um, movie. Uh, Star Wars, The Fented Menace. Took me ages to learn about that word. I kid you not, it really did. I think I took it off my stepfather, because he's a massive Star Wars nerd. Um, but it's always good to see Jabba the Hutt. It really is. Um, especially having his, uh, his, uh, minions, I would say. The, the, I, I don't know what you call these guys. I, I'm no, I'm no expert. Okay, they're just minions. Um, the speeder bike. Oh, wait, hold on. The speeder bike. <laughs> this little guy, the... Uh, I don't know what... Was it Axel? Axel? Whatever his name is? I don't know. He's so damn cute. When I saw the trailer of it, it's so... He's so cute. I cannot... I, oh my god, it's it's so, so adorable. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, this guy, we did see a little shots of this guy. He is going to be one of our companions um, as well. He's a um, contract hit, like hitman kind of contract, if I could remember. I don't really remember. Regardless, I'm really looking forward for this. This is going to be one of these big games that I'm looking forward for this year, obviously. Um, let me know what you guys think of this game. Uh, is this the game that you are really looking forward for? Um, 
or is it not? Are you picking it up uh, day one? Are you picking it up when it first comes out? Um, I think me and Kiro are going to be definitely probably doing playthroughs for this. Probably, most likely. We don't know yet. Um, regardless, uh, I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do enjoy, leave a like. Subscribe to me as always. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this little storyline trailer. Does it intrigue you? Intrigue you? Intrigue you? Intrigue you? Uh, her, she's gonna be very interesting. I forgot to mention about her. She's gonna be very interesting, however. Um, but as always, I uh, hope you enjoy. And, uh, yeah. Peace out. Keep on giving. See you guys in the next one. Oh, fuck off. Oh, you dick. You dick.